I'm not wearing any makeup today. Well, I'm wearing a little bit of makeup because we are going to go get my eyebrows microbladed. I'm so excited. I'm going to a girl called The Lash Barbie on Instagram and she does eyelash extensions and microblading. So we are going to get these bitches microbladed and Annie is going to join me because she doesn't have school today. Yeah, and mommy, what? Your eyelashes, there's nothing better than your eyelashes. She's very emotional today, aren't you? Oh, no. You're not? Okay, okay. Hey guys, so I am here with Crystal. She is at the Lash Barbie. She works out of downtown Vancouver, and we are going to get my eyebrows microbladed. Hi guys! <laughs> Let's do this! She also does eyelashes, in case you're in Vancouver and you want to know. So she's just putting numbing cream on, so that it doesn't hurt. But I might feel something, right? I might feel a little bit of pain. Okay, just kidding. You shouldn't <laughs> feel any pain whatsoever. Oh, really? They should be numb enough that you can still feel what's going on, but no pain. Oh, so we're nice. not going deep into the dermis. Okay, because yeah. it looks scary when you watch the videos. It definitely looks scary. You'll be okay. Okay. So we are just taking off the numbing cream now, and we will start to map and draw out the brow to give us a good blueprint to begin microblading. So we begin our mapping with um, drawing out the line for the center, following her nose, making sure that we're center in the middle of her face. And then we build up one side of the brow, following her eye, the inner duct begins the brow. Um, the arch is lined with her pupil and her, her outer tail is lined up with the edge of her eye. And then we just measure each point and follow it um, perfectly symmetrical to the other side. Cool. Make the Looks pretty good to me. So far, so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe thickness. Um, maybe this one's my weird eyebrow. So I don't. I, this. It ends a little bit sooner than this one. Okay. Like the hairs go down a little bit further. Yeah. I feel like this one, um, not what you did, but naturally doesn't have as much hair at the top. Or is right. that just me? Yeah, that's right. That's okay. 100% right. Yeah. Maybe a little, like tiny, like. Not like a hair less of an arch on the okay. side. Okay. And then I don't. Know. And then yeah, pick part. Okay. Part. I think yeah, just like so, just on this side, bring it down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna stretch the skin, and that reduces any pain as well, and helps the the blade glide through a little bit easier. So here we go. Am I able to shut my eyes? Is that okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. How are we doing so far? Good, I can't feel Good. really anything. My mom wants to get this done too, so she might be coming. Is she here? In my language? Yeah, she, well, she's in like Clayton area. Okay. It's like Cloverdale, I guess. Yeah. And she's got the same kind of eyebrows as me, like the long hairs, right. but not much of them. Light. Yeah.
Very cool. So nice. So we'll do our second pass now, mm -hmm. and then once I complete both, we'll check in the mirror again and make sure we're all symmetrical. Okay. Looks good. Alright, looks great. So we're looking for symmetry, so let me take a look at you, okay. my friends. Okay, so I'm gonna have right there. So some aftercare tips, before you leave here today, we're going to put some coconut oil on your brows to keep them really moisturized. Um, it's a natural antibiotic, it allows oxygen to go in and out, so it is the best healing agent. Okay. So you want to keep that on, and then right before you go to bed, you're going to take it off with water only, um, and you're going to put more coconut oil on with a Q-tip, always with a Q-tip, never touch with your hands. Okay. Same thing in the morning, take it off, put more on. Before you go to bed, take it off, put more on. So it's all this scabbing is, is completed. Within seven to 10 days, you're going to then go to sunscreen and okay. keep sunscreen on those puppies. Oh, yeah, I can put it right on top? Right on top, because okay. at that point, the skin will be healed. Okay. So you want to protect it from fading out, especially in the summertime. Okay. So. Okay, so how many days again with coconut oil? So seven to 10 days. Okay. Typically, so let's go 10 days, just okay. to be safe. Um, and that after that point, you're gonna use sunscreen over top of the brows. Okay. Um, and you're gonna come back and see me in about six weeks from now, and we're gonna do this process one more time. It'll be nice and quick. Okay. And then you're good for the okay. next year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yay. Yeah. And when does the flakies go away, you think? About 10 days. So okay. everybody's a little bit different in their healing time, but typically about seven to 10 days. Okay, so yeah. it's like a tattoo. That's right. Okay. Okay. Here's the big reveal. <laughs> see me in six weeks from today and we're just gonna go over every little stroke one more time um, and put more pigment into it and then I'll make sure it lasts for about a year. Yay! Yay! Hello, hello. So I got my eyebrows microbladed as I said and I'm obsessed. So happy with them. Like I couldn't have asked for anything better. They are amazing. I'm excited to see in two weeks what they look like. Hey guys, so Microbladed brows day three. I really don't notice any difference. I've been keeping coconut oil on them 100% of the time, cleaning them once or twice a day with baby soap, and they have been healing really nicely. Like, I know a lot of people get like the cracking, dry flakiness, but so far I haven't had that, but we will see. So, this is day number. Three. Okay, so it is day six post microblading. As you can see, it's starting to like break up a bit, but that is normal because we need the touch up and they say that it's supposed to kind of disappear before it comes back, if you will. So this side looks a little jacked up, but this side looks a little focus, looks a little better. It's frustrating because I really want to put makeup on them. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted to sit down and I'm not sitting, I'm standing. Let's rephrase that. So I just wanted to give you guys a conclusion of what I think about the microblading. So this is my microbladed brows after the touch up. So after you get your brows microbladed, you come back after six weeks to get them touched up. And this is what mine look like. So. The problem that happened with me, which is not my microblader's fault at all, is that I have very oily skin and the healing process that we chose to do was the coconut oil on your eyebrows. And I feel like because my skin was so oily that my skin wasn't retaining the dye with the coconut oil on top. So when I went back to get the touch up done, she decided to do it a little darker and then also to instead of doing the coconut oil treatment we did the 
dry healing treatment. So for two weeks, until the scabbing had healed, we didn't do anything on the brows. So nothing, no water. So in the shower, I had to make sure that I didn't get any water on my face. Just keeping it dry like a regular tattoo. And so they healed a lot better. The only problem I have is right here, there's a gap. So I do need to go back and touch it up, but I'm just kind of looking at it as though I didn't really get them, the first time I got them done, it didn't really count because it didn't take because of how oily my skin is and because we did the wrong healing technique for my skin type. So I am going to go back for a second touch up. However, I still completely recommend getting this done. Like I love waking up in the morning and having more thick brows than what I had before more thicker brows than I ever had before. It's amazing. I still fill them in when I'm doing full glam because I like a really intense brow to match my intense makeup. However, during the day, all I need is concealer and a little bit of blush and mascara and I'm good to go. I'm so content. So I just need to go back for a quick touch up to get like this, let's focus, to get this little gap filled in and then maybe like a little bit more here and that's it like the tail is awesome like that looks so good I really prefer the darker color that we chose this time because I do have dark roots and I am wearing a wig right now to help my hair grow and heal it so I don't have to do any dyeing or back combing or heat styling to my hair at all for the next six months so I feel like the darker color suits my wig a lot better and yeah so I definitely recommend getting it done just if you have oily skin, my only recommendation would be to do the dry healing technique. Do not do the coconut oil technique. So the first time I got it done, the healing was very good. Like there was no flaking, there was no chunking up like I saw other people do. And I think that's because of the coconut oil. My skin was healing way too fast. I'm Wolverine, what can I say? And so the second time when we did the dry healing, I really did see it all flaking, it all chunking up, just like a tattoo does and just like I saw on people's posts online. So I knew that it was healing properly. So that was really good. I was actually happy to see that my eyebrows looked weird. You know what I mean? Because I knew that it was working. So yeah, I really, I do love it. I recommend getting it done. If you are in Vancouver, please go check out Crystal. She is the Lash Barbie. She is amazing. And she also does eyelashes. I would love to get eyelashes from her, but I just can't do false, or um, like eyelash extensions. I'm an eye rubber. I like to rub my eyes, and I like to sleep on my stomach, and I like to get my face all wet in the shower, and I don't, I like to be able to just, I like to be able to just pull off the false eyelashes instead of having them stuck. So if you are into false eyelashes or eyelash extensions, please go see her if you're in Vancouver and check her out if you wanna get microblading because she's super affordable compared to the other local artists whom I won't name because they're so expensive but they also are talented, not hating on them. It's just they're really expensive. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, please comment below and I will get back to all of you. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe while you're here. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.